SP AA vehicles are the main and the most reliable way to protect your team from aerial threats. A machine gun strapped on your tank might work in a pinch, but it's no match to specialized anti-aircraft weapon systems. We've already made a video on the SPAA vehicles found in the German tech tree, including the advanced and highly versatile Gepard and the fearsome Kugelblitz. Today, we're going to look at their Soviet counterparts. Early Soviet SPAA vehicles are most often just machine guns or autocannons mounted on top of army trucks. That's exactly the type of vehicle you're going to see when starting out at rank number one. Take a look at the Gaz AAA, for example. There are two variants of this SPAA in the game, one equipped with four 7.62mm Maxim machine guns and one with a single 12.7mm Dishka machine gun. You might think that they are more or less the same when it comes to raw firepower, but there actually is a very big difference. A Maxim machine gun, even when there are four of them, is only effective against aircraft, while the d machine gun can pierce up to 30 millimeters of armor with AP rounds. That's already enough to destroy some light tanks when engaging them from the side. The six-wheeled Gaz doesn't have the best off-road performance, but is pretty fast on a good road. All in all, it makes for a decent platform for an AA vehicle. At the start of the second era, we get a very similar ride. The four-wheel Gaz MM, armed with a 25mm 72K cannon. Its predecessors couldn't really stand its ground against enemy armor, but this SPAA is different. In fact, it has enough firepower to punch through frontal defenses of some medium tanks. The Gaz MM excels at hunting light tanks and low-flying aircraft. Just keep in mind that it has a big blind zone in the front due to the placement of the cabin. Next up is the BTR-152A, equipped with two 14.5mm KPVT machine guns. It's better used as a pure AA vehicle. And then we have the ZIS-12, truck fitted with a 94km gun mount housing two cannons. And the premium ZUT-37, which is a 37mm auto cannon mounted on a T-70 chassis. The former performs really well when engaging aircraft, but has trouble dealing with ground targets as its guns are not good at piercing actual armor. The latter vehicle, on the other hand, is best used against tanks thanks to the burst capabilities and good penetration rate of its autocannon. We arrive at rank 3 and are greeted by a ZIS-43 armed with a 37mm 61K cannon. Due to its considerable recoil, less than stellar fire rate and mediocre shells, it might be tricky to use this one against fast aircraft or well-armored opponents on the ground. On the other hand, it hits pretty damned hard. And that's the last Soviet SPAA built around a truck. From now on, it'll just be modified tanks or specialized SPAAGs. At rank 4, we get a vehicle that is a good introduction to this new generation. The ZSU-37, based on a T-70 chassis, with a turret mounting the already familiar 61K cannon. But it's important to say that this time, it also comes with a nice surprise. A new BR-167P round, capable of piercing more than 100 millimeters of steel close up. Hey! <laughs> the second new SPAAG available at this rank is the Zatian Jifungong 37 millimeter, an event Chinese SBAA design based on a T-34 that was used in the Vietnam War. When it comes to firepower, it's pretty similar to the previous vehicle, but is considerably more mobile. Furthermore, the fast turret rotation allows it to deal with agile targets with ease. With our next SBAA vehicles, we're moving deeper into the era of the Cold War and closer to the present day, 
which means that it's time for considerably more dangerous and advanced weapon systems. For instance, the fifth era introduces the amazing ZSU-57 II, armed with two 57mm S68 cannons. It's one of the few true all-rounders of the SPAA world available in the game. If you use BR-281U rounds, it can easily mow down even some MBTs, and it's very effective against aircraft. The only big flaw of the vehicle is that it comes with an open top, which means that your crew is very vulnerable to strafing aircraft. Rank 6 gives us the legendary ZSU-23-4 Schilke, the first radar-guided SPAAG on the list. Thanks to its search and tracking radar and very fast turret traverse, you should be able to target and destroy even the fastest jets. And yeah, 423mm cannons simply delete helicopters from existence. Finally, at rank 7, we find the most advanced Soviet SPAA weapon system, the ZPRK 2S6 Tunguska, fitted with excellent electronics and amazing surface to air missiles. Its second generation thermal sights allow it to spot targets at a considerable distance, even visually. And its missiles. Have we mentioned the missiles? They are extremely effective against aircraft. And that's without mentioning autocannons that make short work of any aerial threats in close to mid range engagements. Say what you want about the Soviet SPAA vehicles, but their ranks include some of the most versatile vehicles in the game, like the ZSU-57 II or the Tunguska, capable of fighting any kind of threat on any kind of terrain. What is your favorite vehicle on the list, though, hmm? Feel free to tell us in the comments below, because <laughs> we'd like to know.